Genetics and estrogen deficiency are just two of the factors that we need to be considering when analyzing the cause of autoimmune diseases. The researchers also noticed that the symptoms in premenopausal women with these diseases became much worse after menopause. And Delisa Fairweather, who's a PhD chair of translational research for the Department of Cardiovascular Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Florida, pointed out that the most common autoimmune diseases happen almost exclusively in women. It's the uncommon autoimmune diseases that can happen in men, but the most common one, almost exclusively in women and rarely in men. But genetics and estrogen deficiency are just two of the factors that we need to be considering when analyzing the cause of autoimmune diseases. In my next post, I'm going to discuss something you probably have never heard of and is probably really going to surprise you. It's called the hygiene hypothesis. So hang on and check me out here in a little bit. <laughs>